hey what is going on everybody so <laughs> i was kind of running all around and uh trying to figure out if i could print those documents that i have right now in my hand uh, to do the video for the day because i need to do some informative stuff and i printed those out but my printer ran out of something it's, it didn't run out of uh, ink or anything what the hell it just stopped functioning so now i got the prints in hand because i went out to some shop nearby and got this done i hope it's going to be an informative video and let's just get down to my table so that we can get a detailed discussion about this topic hey what is going on everybody i hope you're all doing absolutely awesome and let's just get down into it it's one of the very serious topics and i've been trying to do a video on it for some time but didn't get much time the story of my life anyway so we're going to talk about essentially these things we're talking about um, veg protein veggie protein that is plant-based or would it be whey protein or any kind of protein source that you might be consuming your protein from and I'm going to, I'm doing this not because you know I talk a lot about protein but because I saw this report um, and it was kind of alarming there are different questions about the report itself you can go check it out I'm gonna put the link in the description somewhere and just I'll encourage you to go check it out and don't listen to what I'm saying just so what we're talking about here are heavy metals that are present in your protein powders and we're talking about arsenic cadmium and lead now if you look at it you know you can read the screen that's why I printed it out it's easy for you arsenic it's pretty common it's found in uh, mostly mostly your water sources and hugely available in um, you know, Calcutta and West Bengal area uh, and different parts of India as well so it causes the, these are these are the initial uh, signs like nausea vomiting abdominal pain and then severe diarrhea blood in your urine and cramping of muscles and hair loss but it's a uh, arsenic has more severe causes and some lead to cancer as well we're talking about cadmium which is second in our list and cadmium is also one of those heavy metals that can cause severe trouble to you as a person now it can cause cardiovascular actually it's getting it gets actually very strictier as we go down the list so cardiovascular trouble reproductive problem the kidneys eyes and even the brain can be affected by cadmium so i'm just telling you what are the bad things these things can do and not, not you know the the worst of the list is lead and as you can know this lead was found Sometime back, I believe in uh, Nestle products uh, like Maggie or something. That's where the huge news out there, and that can cause severe damage to your brain, nervous system, high blood pressure. It can cause and then kidney damage. So kidney is kind of the common factor that you can see in here. Now that is what these three heavy metals can do. We're going to touch base a bit about BPA, which is like a industrial site product, kind of a waste sort of thing. A residual thing that can stay in your uh, food in your supplement and what and whatnot and can cause even severe damage is gonna get there but these are the main heavy metals and the problem they can cause to you and these are severe okay forget about um, diarrhea it says diarrhea that's just a just a symptom it can cause severe problem to you now we're gonna first uh, before we get down to the actual seriousness of the thing we're gonna see what's the safe thing that you can use and you can see I have marked this one is safe because that's what the report says and I've compiled a few other reports and that says eggs are the safest protein sources you can consume because it's got all those heavy metals at the lowest level in some cases doesn't even exist so cheapest about five or four bucks one and gives you around six grams of car, um, uh, protein go for it that's the cleanest product out there now moving on to this surprising data and <laughs> this is so freakishly surprising that when I was reading the report I read it like three four times and I encourage you to read it three four times as well because you won't believe in your eyes or what you read now see it says how much worse is organic to non-organic protein sources like protein powder so we're talking about organic what do we mean by organic when it comes to whey protein like here's whey protein right so what do you mean by this one being organic meaning you know the companies which advertise and I code advertise that they get their whey protein from grass-fed cows 
Now that's kind of organic, although there is no guarantee that it's grass fed or whatnot. But that's kind of organic. Now here's a plant protein that I showed. Um, the chances of being organic is that the plants from which the protein is sourced is organically produced and no artificial fertilizers and stuff were used. That's organic to inorganic. Now, if you see arsenic, cadmium and lead percentages being higher, this is not the higher, that is 1.5 times, 4.8 times or more. Are you crazy? 1.5 times more here for lead. These are not for the non-organic these are the organic sources so basically organic sources are the worst in here that that was surprising and you know i don't i'm not questioning the merit of the of the whole thing that was done and there are already lots of people questioning the merit of the, uh, of the research organization and why they're doing it for media and all that that's okay i mean anything that you do will attract some media attention and some organizations might be there to drive some you know market pull and push but that's a different thing we got some facts in front of us non-organic sources has less amount of these things and now I was trying to analyze that and I thought that could be the reason because see when you're talking about organic non-organic forget it the lakes the way those are polluted these days the rivers the way they are polluted the ponds, big tanks, they're polluted. The water sources that we get, they are kind of infested with chemical waste for corporation, for from factories, chemical factories and whatnot. So the plants that grow, that grab the water from there. So there's no wonder that these would be having heavy in heavy metals. And I'll give you a fact for that matter. We live in Bangalore, close to a place called Virtur. Okay, you can look it up in the map. This is the place and there's a huge lake close to our house. This is a huge one, the biggest in Bangalore. And recently there was a study done where it was found that pretty much all the veggies that grow around this lake, they have high amount of lead in it. They didn't test for the arrest of the thing, but lead was very high found in this. And now, how do I know that the veggie I'm having is not being sourced from here? So that's that's the fact, right? So don't really know why, but that's my uh, understanding. Now, moving on to BPA, yeah, pretty much the top-notch deadly thing out here. Um, BPA is unlike those metals uh, that are naturally occurring. This is some uh, chemical waste you can think of. And if you look at it, forget about these numbers. Just look at this number, what it does, this data. This is known to cause some serious stuff. It's known to cause cancerous tumors, birth defects, and other developmental disorders. So developmental disorders means when people grow, like kids grow, like infants grow. There are disorders that develop over time if, the, if, you, if you, the person consumes a lot of these things. So BPA is one of the deadliest. And if you see, there are some products that say BPA-free, BPA-free, so they test for those. So that's something pretty deadly. This is one of the deadliest stuff out there, okay? Now, here's the surprising and disturbing stuff. 55% of the protein powders that were tested, there was a high in BPA level. Now, coming to the other disturbing part is that 25 times, 25 times of the allowed regulatory BPA limit. More than that was found in one particular protein product and they never named it. I know why they didn't because if they name it, that company is going to go bankrupt overnight. That's why probably they didn't do it. Now here's something good uh, on this report that the organic samples that were tested, they had lower percentage of BPA. Now that's one good thing, although they had higher percentage of um, these uh, heavy metals as you can see from the previous report, but they had less percentage of BPA, BPA being even more deadlier among those uh, heavy metals. So that's that's one really, um, you know, really disturbing thing, you know, these two, and it is a good one if you're looking for organic food. You know, there are some organic stores pretty much everywhere around the country these days. You know, a lot of people choose to go for those. I personally don't, not a lot, because I think it's a lot marketing gimmick. Um, I'm not really sure if those are organic or not. So that's my take, it doesn't have to be yours. Now here's something 
again disturbing but at the same time um, some fact that came out see a lot of us would uh, choose uh, proteins uh, from plant-based proteins the reason for that is that we somehow feel or there are some studies done that say that plant-based protein can cause less harm to us than animal-based proteins and there should be higher blood pressure and whatnot all those things might cost from animal-based proteins but that's all right that's not that's not wrong it's correct but at the same time look at this products that were plant-based has a protein source where it tested the worst why because of that report that i showed earlier that i had the highest amount of um, heavy metals and actually i'm not showing all the things in that report i'm going to put the link in the description you go check it out i suggest you go check it out and do your research on that but you know, plant-based uh, protein powders were having the most amount of lead in it so that that's weird i mean lead can cause so many so many weird things in the human body and that was found the most so that's why plant-based protein powders are marked as most now how do we look at this report that's that's i mean we're kind of done with this um talking about this thing and what all the things that we discussed here but what's the takeaway so there are two things one Always remember, whenever there's a news, you know, I give it to you or anybody else or this this uh, independent lab that published this report. There are two sides to it. One, it's good. You listen, to it, you, you learn from it. Go do your research because that's important and find out whether these reports are correct or not. And don't get alarmed and then stop taking your white protein or doing that. It's good to know. And then do your stuff. And that's what I'm trying to do in here. Now, when I got this info, something created in me, and I said, okay, that's cool, um, and nice to know. Let me go in Amazon and find out which all whey proteins um, they are listing down, their lab reports, and I'm being very specific about it, lab reports, not just anything that they say, oh, no, no, there's some lab report need to be there regarding the presence not the presence of protein. See, everybody says how much percentage of protein is there, right? I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for, this is something we already have. That's not a problem. I'm looking for this heavy metal percentages, how much you're having in your protein. Show us a report. Is there any protein powder that's doing it? I didn't see it. I just saw one. And I've recently seen there's a huge amount of buzz in the internet about that protein powder. It could be because they're sending out samples to the YouTubers. It's called As It Is Nutrition. I, I'll put the name and stuff in here. They haven't sent me anything. I haven't bought their product. But what I found is that on Amazon, they're the only one who have put... Um, not a lab report for sure, but they have kind of claimed in the back panel that how much of um, heavy metals they are having. They must be having. It's not that they don't have, okay? They will be having, but what's the percentage that they are having? And that's very good info to have because, you know, here's the thing. One of the reasons we choose to go for Indian products is because um, it's cheap, right? You know, it's homegrown. We you don't get the import duty and all that thing, so it's kind of cheap. But you got to remember, you buy something which has an FSSAI certification and nothing else, no uh, best manufacturing practices or HSCCP, nothing. But they're just packing those whey proteins imported from some source we don't know into some fancy packages and selling you. And selling me for that matter now the price goes down for sometimes 500 600 bucks or thousand bucks per kilogram which is great but if that happens at the expense of your life that's not acceptable that's what I'm trying to tell you here I'm not saying that the, uh, the brands that are coming from Germany or uh, USA those are like amazing but the regulatory system in those countries are more, much more stricter than it is here in our country. So I'm not saying let's just stop taking all those Indian brands. I'm a big fan of Indian brands. I'd encourage to do that. But it's a plea to the Indian protein manufacturers and sellers to kindly show or testify a, a lab report specifying how much of these heavy metals your protein powder is containing. That's what I'm talking about. 
and I think we all should be talking about it and we should um, kind of raise our voice and that's how create change you know where to find these people you know their whatsapp numbers you know their uh, Instagram accounts go tell them DM them um, put your messages in uh, Facebook in their Facebook pages and let them know and they got a lot of money to spend on this. They can definitely come and say that, hey, here's our report. Give us a seven days of time. We're going to get the lab report ready and we're going to show it. That's what we demand. So that's what my request to you is that if you think this video is actually helpful, it's not about subscribers or liking the video or anything, do share it. It's important. Do share this video with your loved ones or pretty much any community that you know of because and there's a big chance that someone picks up this video and makes a video and there are three four more videos done on this and that's how the change is done that's that's my request to you I'm not gonna request you to subscribe to my channel not at all for this video at least all I'm saying just keep sharing the info if not my video just the info keep sharing it and uh, stay healthy stay fit and enjoy your life my friends have an awesome life ciao